Bypassing a fuel cutoff switch is a bit like hacking into the matrix of your car's safety system. It's there for a good reason, mainly to stop the fuel pump from sending gasoline to the engine after a collision. This is to prevent fires, additional damage, or even save your life. But let's say you're tinkering around or you find yourself in a unique situation where you need to bypass this feature. First off, it's important to understand that by doing this, you're walking a fine line between solving an issue temporarily and creating a potential hazard. I'm not here to judge why you'd want to bypass a safety feature, but safety should always be your top priority. Here's a straight up guide, but remember, proceed with caution. Usually the fuel cutoff switch is located in the trunk, behind a panel or under the carpet near the back seats in a lot of cars. For those living in places like Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, it's a scenario you might run into, especially given the adventurous spirit of the place and all the DIY car work that goes on here. One, locate the switch, find the fuel cutoff switch. Its appearance can vary depending on the make and model of the vehicle, but it's generally a small red or black button situated in an accessible but somewhat hidden area. Two, access the wiring. Once you've located the switch, you'll see a few wires leading into it. The key to bypassing the switch is to connect these wires in a way that they bypass the switch mechanism. 3. Bypass the switch. You can use a jumper wire or a paperclip to connect the wires together, effectively creating a direct line for the electrical current that bypasses the actual switch. 4. Test the bypass. With the wires bypassed, turn on your ignition to see if fuel is being delivered to the engine. If the car starts or the fuel pump activates, you've successfully bypassed the cutoff. However, a big note here, doing this is only recommended as a temporary solution. For example, if you're stranded and need to move your vehicle to a safer location or to a mechanic. The fuel cutoff switch is a critical safety feature that shouldn't be permanently bypassed. It's like disabling the smoke alarm in your house because it keeps going off while you're cooking. Useful in the short term, dangerous in the long term. Once you get to a safe location or have a moment to breathe, delve into why the switch activated in the first place. Was it a minor collision, a faulty switch, or something else? Get it checked by a professional to avoid any long-term danger to yourself or your vehicle. Driving around Portland or anywhere really with a bypassed fuel cutoff switch is a gamble with safety. Short-term fixes are fine, but let's not forget why these features exist. They are there not to annoy us, but to keep us safe on the roads, which can be unpredictable, much like the weather in Portland. Stay safe, and when in doubt, seek out professional advice.